Let us fix the problem of overfitting in polynomial regression by getting in more samples in the training set. So here we construct a training set with 100 samples and will examine whether that has any effect on the overfitting of the polynomial regression model. With the training set of 100 examples, we try polynomial regression models of different degrees. And you can see that the fitment of the polynomial regression model has become smoother for the higher order polynomials. And if we examine the model selection curves, you can see that the problem of overfitting that we were observing when we are using training data with train examples, that has disappeared. You can see that the training and validation error continues to drop. There is a slight jump in the validation error beyond degree 4, but it doesn't jump uh, drastically or dramatically uh, as, as earlier. So there is a, a tinge of overfitting, there is a small amount of overfitting, but we managed to re reduce the overfitting uh, quite a lot by using more examples. And let's quickly examine the weight vector. And you can see that uh, the weight vector, the weights are still large for some of the higher order polynomials, but their magnitude has uh, dropped or reduced drastically uh, compared to uh, the polynomial models that we are training with, uh, with 10 examples. Let's increase this number of examples further to let's say 1000 and, and run the collab again. So let's generate training set with 1000 examples. And now you can see that even this uh, degree 9 polynomial is uh, fitting pretty smoothly. And you can see here as well. There is a pretty smooth fitment of polynomial models of different orders. And if we examine the model selection curves and the weight vector, the overfitting has reduced even further and we can see that even the validation error uh, is not over, uh, is not shooting um, you know um, beyond uh, degree 4 now there is a slight shoot up beyond degree 6 in the in the validation error and you can see that the the magnitude of weights have uh, have come down you can see that the weights are uh, you know that their magnitude has reduced uh, further so let's try with, let's say, 10,000 examples and see whether there is a further reduction in the overfitting. So now we have 1,000 examples. You can see that the polynomial regression model has uh, smoother uh, fitting uh, with you know uh, 10,000 examples and if we uh, examine the model selection curves and the weight vector you can see that uh, you know overfitting has pretty much uh, disappeared And the weight vectors, um, you know, they, there is there is slight reduction in the in the magnitude of the weights in the higher order in the higher order polynomials. For example, degree nine polynomial, the weight vector uh, has reduced further. Let's try uh, one final experiment with, let's say, hundred thousand examples. You can see a very smooth uh, fitment with polynomial uh, regression of degree 9.
And again for polynomial regression of different degrees, uh, we see uh, smooth treatment across uh, different degrees that we tried. And let us finally look at the model selection curves and the weight vector. And we can see that there is further uh, reduction in the, uh, you know, uh, in the overfitting. And you can also look at the weight vector and see that uh, the magnitude of weights for let us say degree 9 polynomial are now in hundreds. Remember they were in, uh, in 100,000 when we started with simply uh, train, uh, with the simply 10 training examples. Now it has reduced uh, drastically when we are using 100,000 training examples. If we examine the error curves, we can see that at degree 6, both training and validation errors are the lowest among different models. So degree 6 uh, polynomial regression model seems to be the model that we, that we would like to select for further usage. So hope this gives you an idea how to fix the overfitting problem and how to perform the model selection from a bunch of candidate models. In the next collab, we will implement the regularization techniques.